determine the values of x and y such that the following three points are collinear. So we have, we'll call this point A here is 1, 2, 3. Point B is the point 7, 4, 1. And we have point C, which is defined as x, y, 2. So we want to determine if these points are collinear. So thinking to ourselves, for points A, B, and C to be collinear, what do we need? Well, we need two vectors defined by these points to be scalar multiples of each other. So in other words, we need vector AB to be equal to a scalar multiple of vector AC. So let's find them. So here we go. We're starting with vector AB. So we have 7 minus 1, 4 minus 2, and 1 minus 3 leaving us with the beautiful final answer of 6, 2, negative 2. And we have vector AC, which here is defined as x minus 1, y minus 2, 2 minus 3, which leaves us with x minus 1, y minus 2, and negative 1. And so we want these to be scalar multiples of each other. So we need to solve... 6, 2, negative 2 is equal to a scalar multiple, C, of x minus 1, y minus 2, negative 1. And this is, of course, such that C is our scalar, our real number. So you may be looking at this and thinking to yourself, well, wait a second, this vector has a scalar multiple. And you're absolutely correct, it does. We could pull a 2 out and use that as our scalar multiple. But let's pretend for a moment that we weren't so lucky, that we didn't have this beautiful scalar multiple of 2 here. How would we solve that? Well, we still need to go ahead here and equate the like components and solve for the individual variables. So what, I, what do I mean? Equating your x components, equating the y components, equating the z components. Just don't forget about your scalar multiple in the front. So this will become three separate equations, we have 6 is equal to c times x minus 1, 2 is equal to c times y minus 2, and we also have negative 2 is equal to c times negative 1. And look at this. If we divide both sides by negative 1, we see our scalar multiple is 2. Woohoo! So we can now take our scalar multiple 2 here and plug it in to the equations above and simplify, allowing us to solve for x and y. So plugging this into our first equation, we have 6 is equal to 2 times x minus 1. Dividing both sides by 2, we have 3 is equal to x minus 1. Adding 1 to both sides, we are left with a beautiful final answer of x is 4. Now we want to do the same thing for y. So plugging c equals 2 in, we have 2 is equal to 2 times y minus 2, dividing both sides by 2, we have 1 is equal to y minus 2, and therefore adding 2 to both sides, we see that y is 3. And there you have it. So a, b, and c are going to be collinear points, or they exist on the same line, when x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 3. And this is our beautiful final answer.